Good evening. My name is Angel. Uh, I am presenting on the behalf of my group, and uh, the question that has been presented to us is, to what extent has social media usage in the United States impacted the social norms of beauty among different high school genders? Now, what me and my colleagues have came up with is the answer that social media has a strong and negative impact on the beauty norms among these different high schoolers. But we think we have a solution. We say that we would suggest positive comments and reminders on social media to promote a realistic body images within the apps. So if someone sees something, a post that an influencer put out, and they do not think that they can live up to that body image because they just don't think it's realistic, we would throw out a reminder saying why it is okay and that it's what, what, what a realistic body would be for them. Now, the evidence that I have gathered uh, to present today is this um, graphic right here shows that 87% of women compare themselves to the body images they consume uh, on social media, and the 65% of the men do the same. And what I want to let them know is to try not to sell let the things seen on social media impact the vision that one has upon themselves. So in other words, what you see on social media should not be what you see in everyday real life. And both, like I said, both men and women have reported comparing themselves to social media, but it is actually very possible for them to develop a bad habit they could destroy them mentally and physically because they could become, they could get into a state of depression and anxiety of trying to show out and uh, how they really just don't believe that they can make it to that body image because it's not realistic, even if they do all they can to make themselves look as best as they possibly feel like they can. It just sometimes is not possible um, to live up to those social media standards. And I've also found that. Um, Social media, different social media apps can cause different things in people, such as this uh, graph shows as well. Um, they, this is this is known as the dark side of social media amongst many people, and it shows here that Facebook can cause anxiety attacks and depression. YouTube can cause obsession in comparison with others. Pinterest can lead to fake friendships. Twitter can lead to fear of missing out, and Instagram can lead to insecurities and low self-esteem. Now, what this all means uh, is that social media can be one bad thing for you, and it can also be individual apps causing different things that make you feel bad about yourself. And people are usually pressured by this dark side of social media, but in reality, they just need to take a break, detach for as long as they feel necessary until they feel better, so that they don't go into that state of depression and anxiety fear of missing out, or go out on online and talk to people you've never even met, or go to Instagram and see your see posts of people that probably aren't uh, very realistic and, to make yourself feel bad, and there's no need to obsess over comparison with others. So that is why I would say just detach yourself and make yourself feel better by going on a walk or doing a hobby that will make you feel better. Hi, my name is Riley Quinn, and I'll be talking more on the social norms and social media. In this graph, it talks about the insecurities and view of actually how satisfied girls are with their body. As the main part of this factor is the development of adolescence using physical and mental change of the body due to a person. Due to this correlation, this could be made the person negative about themselves. And to put this even more in effect, social media sites like Instagram and Pinterest mainly focus on clothing and body image content. These pictures here could example or show how influencers portray being perfect and confident on a post to represent to the viewer of how well fitting they are into their clothes or emotions they represent, causing the viewer to feel different about themselves in a negative way. Hello, my name is Jorge Reyes and I will be discussing social media and its effects on the brain of maturing young men. This MRI scan I have provided was conducted by a study at St Oxford University, that of which is displaying the brain of a young volunteer using social media as a way to view things he enjoyed. When, participant, when the participant received news such as likes or follows, their brains would process the information as a reward. On the other hand, when liking or following someone, their brain would perceive it as giving something to someone. 
The burn would often categorize this as something taxing to do and often affiliated with the fear of missing out. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Rafael Cigara and here I'll continue by showing the extent of how social media impacts negatively teens. Um, here in the eating habits, we see, for example, in the picture to the left, that the platform Instagram, which is just social media, um, and the users are a majority of teens, like Snapchat, the majority of users are teenagers. Um, it directly impacts eating habits, and it can cause the eating disorders such as anorexia that also impacts their overall health. On the right, we see uh, a poster by the National Eating Disorder Association, in which we they show some statistics such as that one out of every two women uh, actually use unhealthy eating habits to cope with eating less food, and 43% of men uh, dislike their body images. Here on to the next slide. This again shows the unrealistic perception of beauty standards. On the left, we see a young woman being affected by the hands which represent beauty norms, and that is just simply not natural and it can impact her negatively and on the right we see four young women that speak out against those perceptions and that it isn't natural that it is not healthy for them thank you hi i'm andrew berlin and on this slide we can see a chart on the left and the right the left is for teen girls that use unhealthy weight control options and on the right is for teen boys who use unhealthy weight control options now for the girls it's over 50 percent and for the boys it's over 30 percent now what constitutes as an unhealthy weight control option is skipping meals, fasting, smoking, anything that's been scientifically proven to be negative to one's health. Even though they may lose weight, it's not safe. Now, part of these numbers are caused by social media because when they look on social media, they see all these bodies that are so skinny and super fit. And even though they may not be realistic, these teens try and achieve that and they go about it in unhealthy ways. Now, hopefully our solution will lower these numbers, by with the suggesting of positive comments, they'll feel better about themselves and there won't be such a need to change how they look and achieve these specific types of body images that they see on social media. Now, it's not a perfect solution because not everyone sees the same things as positive or realistic because some things may be realistic for some but not others. So there's this gray area that will always be there. Um, it's not a requirement. It's a suggestion. So not everyone will have to follow it. Right? So there will still be some negative comments out there. And some people may not see these comments if they don't check them enough. And they may see one negative comment, but then all these other positive comments they don't actually end up seeing. Some of the other possible solutions could be limiting social media through the apps, whether that's the amount of time you spend on it, how many images you can comment on, things like that. And censoring body degrading comments, all these negative comments you could possibly censor. Those are some other possible solutions. Thank you.